So this one right here is the Bignonia capriolata, also known as the cross vine. Um, it's in its own family, the Bignoniaceae family, and it's hardiness zone six to nine. Now this is a really great native climbing vine. Um, it's one of our vines that climbs um, using tendrils. So that's a type of modified leaf that can wrap around structures and um, give it the ability to climb up this trellis like you see behind me. Um, it's evergreen to semi evergreen, so it loses most of its leaves in the winter. Um, <clears throat> and again, it climbs by those tendrils. So if you'll notice its leaf, um, it actually has a compound leaf. So it has two little leaflets um, and then two tendrils that come out the middle. And that's what helps it grip onto things and to climb. So look for those two leaflets on either side and the tendrils that come between. Um, it's called the cross vine because of its pith. It actually has a squared off pith. So if you cut one of the vines and you look at the cross section, it appears that there's a cross or a plus or an X in the center of um, the vine. So that's why it's called the cross vine. Um, but most people are able to ID it from those very distinct leaves um, and from its beautiful flower display. So as you can see, it gets a gorgeous funnel form, orangey red um, to yellow flower. Um, it's very fragrant. Beth says that it smells like chocolate, but it's a very, it's a very sweet smelling flower, um, which makes it really good for hummingbird attractants. These funnel form flowers and that really sweet, um, sweet smell is great for attracting hummingbirds to a pollinator garden. Um, sun to part shade is going to be best for this one. Uh, but as with everything, in order to get the full flowering effect, sun is going to be best. Um, so again, moist, well-drained soil is going to be best for this one. But it's a pretty good native vine used, as you see here, um, on a trellis as a screen. Um, you can see it's kind of making this pavilion a little bit more private um, or up a mailbox, uh, up a tree in your yard, something like that. Um, but this one's great. Look for this flower display in the spring, those two leaflets and a tendril for your leaves. And um, then if all else fails, cut a vine and look at the center and see if you can find that cross-shaped pith. So this is your cross vine or your bignonia capriolata.